Hey guys, what's up? Mr. Fox here. Hey, I've been noticing quite a few people in the forum have been asking how to undervolt their video card to get better temperatures. This is especially important on some of the thin and light notebooks that aren't noted for having the greatest cooling. So I thought I'd take a few minutes to show you how to do that with the MSI Afterburner. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up MSI Afterburner. This is the default interface. Um, I actually use a different interface that I'll show you here in a bit. So in order to have some of the voltage features unlocked, you're going to need to edit the profile. So when you go into your program files x86 MSI afterburner profiles folder, you're going to see a file in here. It has a long file name. I actually changed the extension of mine to .sav um, so that I don't lose the profiles I've already created while making this video for you. So when you open up MSI Afterburner, you go into Settings, and you're going to want to put a check mark in all the boxes here. I have mine set to Kernel Mode and Third Party, and click OK. And then when you close Afterburner, you're going to see you won't have two files like I have here. You'll have one. So when you first open it up, you're going to see this in here. Um, we're going to want to change it, and I'm going to put this in the video description. You're going to want to edit this. You can copy and paste it right in here. Just re highlight everything and replace it with this new text. When you go to save it, if you're running Windows 7, you'll be able to save it in place. If you try it with Windows 10, it's going to tell you access is denied. So just go ahead and save this to your desktop. And close out of it. Grab this and drop it right in that folder. And replace the original file. You'll have to tell it, you give administrators permission. So what that's going to do for you, when you open up MSI Afterburner, it's going to display um, information a little bit differently. You notice the slider is unlocked now. doesn't really do anything with the Pascal GPU for most people. But what it'll do is if you use a different interface, it'll actually show you let's try another one here see it actually shows the voltage here if you haven't done that this is just going to be blank right here you're not going to see anything so that'll actually let you see what your voltage is so once you've done that first thing you want to you're going to want to do is open up GPU Z and run a simple render test you click on your sensors tab that's going to show you what your GPU is running by default for your core clock your GPU clock as well as your voltage so if you'll notice my GPU voltage by default is 1.025 so most of our Pascal GPUs can run quite a bit lower than default voltage. So for, for undervolting, click on your MSI Afterburner window and do Control F. It's going to open this, this tool, Voltage Curve tool. And let's say, for example, we want to try 0.950. Let's take this. You'll notice the horizontal and vertical dotted lines are actually centered on what our default voltage is. If we're going to say select not, uh, 0.950, for example, we'll take this and drag it up to that line to where it's the same as stock clocks. And while we still have this dot selected, we're going to press the L key. And as you can see, there's a new dotted line here for 0.950 volts click back over on this window here 
and select the check mark to apply it. And you'll notice instantly my voltage has dropped to 950. Our clock speed stayed the same. So I'm running this right now with less voltage by default. So what you'll want to do is run some tests, maybe play some games, run fire strike, whatever you want to do, and make sure that that voltage that you've selected is stable. If it is and you like it, your temps are where you want them to be, come back over here, click the save button, and save it as a profile. So what that's going to do for you is you won't have to go manually do that every time. If you go to your system tray and apply that, you'll be running that profile. So now let's say we wanted to try a little bit lower voltage. We could come over here and select, let's say, 0.925 volts. Let's drag that up to the stock clock speed. Hit L. It moves our dotted line there when we press L and apply it. So now you can see that I've dropped down to 0.925 volts. So you'll have to play with this and find out what your GPU um, actually will accept as the lowest stable voltage to get the best temps you possibly can. So to reset the defaults, let's do that. You can see that I went back to 1.025 volts. Now let's say you want to overclock this thing. So your video card is going to have a maximum and I think a lot of them are around uh, 1.065 volts or something like that is the maximum. I have a different VBIOS on here and I can take mine all the way up to 1.2 volts which uh, is not going to be possible for most people but let's say we want to use 1.062 and overclock the GPU core to 1062. As you can see, I that's what it's showing that I've selected here. And I've got my voltage at 1.062. So let's move over there and hit the L key and then apply. And boom, we're running 2050 on core and 1.062 volts. If we want to overclock our memory, let's come over here and put in a 500 offset, for example. Hit your enter key and apply. And you can see I've added a 500 offset to my memory. So we're good to go there. I could save that as a profile or continue playing with the overclocking and voltage until I found what I wanted to get my best possible overclocked benchmark scores. We hit this button right here with like the recycle arrow and that sets it back to defaults and there we go. So that's really all there is to it. Now I spoke about the EVGA Precision X profile so let me show you that. I'm going to put a link to that in the description. And this is the old Precision X 16 skin. The newer ones are not compatible with it. So what this is going to do is allow me to uh, use KBoost. So if I click this, it's going to ask me if I want to reboot. I'm going to say no. And what I want to do is restart the video driver. So what I've done is I, I use custom resolution utility and that tool that comes with it. So what you can do is just save a shortcut to this on your desktop. I'm not going to do it here. It's going to kill the video. But instead of rebooting, answer no, and run this restart 64 exe, and that'll reset your video driver. And when it does, KBoost is going to be enabled, and your GPU core and memory are going to be maxed out to whatever you have them set on, and it's going to be locked there. So you might see some thermal throttling with Pascal, but other than that, you're going to get maximum performance with maxed out clocks. So that's all there is to that. Again I'll put a link to that in the description of this video. So if you liked it you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, click the like, and check my link for a or check my description for a link. Thank you. Have a great day. God bless.